We're here today at Ripley's Aquarium to do a demonstration to illustrate why, why you should not support places like zoos. Human beings are sea creatures, dependent on the ocean, just as much as whales, herring, or coral reefs. This is a quote by Sylvia A. Earle. Sylvia Earle is an American marine biologist, marine botanist, She's an oceanographer, an explorer, an author, a lecturer, and a pioneer of female ocean explorers. Watch Mission Blue, which is available on Netflix, and listen and learn about the story of Sylvia Earle, and listen to what she has to say as an expert about the ocean and how we as humans depend on the ocean for our own survival. The oceans are home for up to 80% up to of all life on Earth. Watch Sea Spiracy, also available on Netflix, to learn about the human impacts on marine life, such as plastic debris in the ocean, how abandoned fishing nets and gear injure and kill over 100,000 whales, dolphins, seals, and turtles annually and learn about overfishing around the world. Learn how commercial fisheries are the main driver of the marine ecosystem destruction. A lot of people say an octopus is like an alien, but the strange thing is, as you get closer to them, you realize that we're very similar in a lot of ways. This was a quote by Craig Foster of My Octopus Teacher, which is also available on Netflix. Ripley's Aquarium of Canada is home to a giant Pacific octopus, according to the Ripley's website. Home. Is this really her home? Don't let them fool you. The octopus inside this building was not born here. Her name is Amelia, and her home is in the ocean. Yes. Yes. She is a prisoner here in a small glass box that is nowhere close to the 100 meter deep ocean where she would naturally live. From Oceana.org, the giant Pacific octopus is considered the largest octopus species in the world and inhabits the northern Pacific Ocean off the United States and up to Alaska and around Japan. The largest individual on record weighed an impressive 600 pounds and measured 30 feet across. On average, though, these octopuses weigh closer to 110 pounds and measure 16 feet across once fully grown. Like other octopuses, the giant Pacific octopus is extremely intelligent and has been observed opening jars and mimicking other species. Their natural habitat and ecosystem is coastal intertidal areas to waters deeper than 100 meters. The water inside this aquarium isn't from the ocean even. It's Toronto's city water that's been filtered and they have staff follow a recipe adding salt, magnesium and minerals. It gets mixed in a large basin which holds 36,000 gallons of water and from there moved through the building. The marine life in here are forced to live in a concoction of fake ocean water. All the while the government of Canada is working with First Nations communities to achieve clean drinking water on Canadian reservations, including Ontario. Your ticket funds unnecessary captures of living, breathing, feeling, sentient animals and marine wildlife trafficking. The endangered sand sharks here were captured from the wild to be placed in glass boxes for your entertainment. Don't spend your hard earned, earned dollar supporting a house of abuse and exploitation. The CN Tower, the Royal Ontario Museum, the Art Gallery of Ontario are all places you can visit without supporting animal exploitation. Please don't buy a ticket to the aquarium. And if you've already purchased tickets and are determined to see inside, please bear witness to the sad animals kept in glass containers of captivity and think about how they were torn from their families. Why is it acceptable to eat some animals and love others? Use the time inside to think about your daily choices. Are your choices speciesist or are they kind to all beings?
Consider why as humans we eat some fish but want to see other type of fish or other marine animals thriving. Thank you for listening. Thank you for this platform. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we're with uh, Toronto Climate Save today. There you go, Toronto Climate Save. Climate Save Movement, part of the Animal Save Movement. And what's the message as well? Is to go vegan. Is to watch the conspiracy. Is to get active for the animals. And let me just read this out. It's a beautiful quote from Sylvia Earle, the marine biologist. Human beings are sea creatures dependent on the oceans just as much as whales, herring or coral reefs. So Yurim, the organizer today, has also made a fishing net with all the different animals caught inside. So we're outside Ripley's Aquarium in Toronto. We're being active for the animals. And let's finish on the t-shirt. See life, your friends. Please go vegan. Thank you for watching. Signing off.